Picture a city where towering skyscrapers reach for the skies, yet just a stone's throw away. Tranquil parks and nature reserves offer a serene escape. This is Singapore, a place where diverse cultures, religions, and cuisines coexist harmoniously, creating a unique tapestry that captivates every visitor. Welcome to Singapore, a bustling metropolis where East meets West, tradition dances with innovation, and the future seems just around the corner. Today, we embark on an exploration of this dynamic city-state, an island that pulsates with life, culture, and endless possibilities. And remember, if you're loving the adventures on Kabuma Travel, smash that like button, click subscribe, and ring that notification bell to join us on every epic journey. Let's get started. Best time to go to Singapore. Situated near the equator, Singapore enjoys a tropical rainforest climate, meaning it's warm and humid year round with occasional rain. This unique climate offers travelers the flexibility to visit any time of the year. However, each season brings its own set of experiences, December to March. This period is ideal for those seeking to indulge in outdoor activities. The Northeast monsoon season brings more rain, but usually in sudden, heavy showers that clear quickly. The post-monsoon months, especially February and March, are relatively dry, making it perfect for exploring the city's outdoor attractions, like the gardens by the bay or the Singapore Botanic Gardens. This period also coincides with the festive Chinese New Year celebrations, lighting up the city with lion dances, stunning decorations, and cultural festivities. April to July. These months mark the pre-Southwest monsoon season. It's typically hot and humid, but with less rainfall, ideal for beach lovers and those looking to visit Sentosa Island or enjoy the many rooftop bars and pools around the city. It's also a great time for food festivals and outdoor markets, allowing you to indulge in Singapore's rich culinary landscape. July to September. <laughs> the Great Singapore Sale occurs between June and August, making these months a shopper's paradise. In addition, the Singapore Food Festival typically falls in July, where you can experience the city's vibrant food scene. The weather remains hot and humid with sporadic showers, so indoor attractions like the Marina Bay Sands Sky Park and the numerous museums offer delightful escapes from the heat. October to November. The Southwest monsoon season brings more frequent rain, but like earlier in the year, these are usually short-lived. This time is less crowded, offering a more relaxed experience of the city. It's also when the Deepavali, Diwali celebrations occur in Little India, transforming the area into a spectacle of lights, colors, and cultural vibrancy. Special tips for your visit. Tip one, pack appropriately. Light, breathable clothing is a must. Don't forget a raincoat or umbrella, no matter the season. Tip two, stay hydrated. The humidity can be draining. Keep hydrated as you explore the city's wonders. Tip three, enjoy the nightlife. To escape the daytime heat, explore Singapore's vibrant night markets, evening safaris at the night safari, and the stunning light show at Marina Bay. In Singapore, every season offers its own charm. Whether you're basking in the festivities of cultural celebrations, indulging in shopping and culinary delights, or exploring the lush green spaces, the Lion City promises an experience filled with wonder and excitement all year round. So, Kabuma travelers, get ready to embark on a journey to this mesmerizing city-state, a destination that truly knows no off-season. Budget for traveling to Singapore. Known for its futuristic architecture and vibrant street life, Singapore is a dream destination for many. But don't let its reputation for high costs deter you. With some savvy planning, you can experience the best of the city-state without burning a hole in your wallet. Affordable accommodations. Let's start with where to stay. While Singapore is known for its luxury hotels, there are plenty of budget-friendly options. Consider hostels or budget hotels in areas like Little India, Chinatown, or the Arab Street area. Not only are these neighborhoods full of character, but they also offer some of the most affordable accommodation in the city. Eating on a budget. Singapore is a paradise for food lovers, and you don't have to spend a fortune to enjoy delicious meals. The city is famous for its hawker centers, where you can enjoy a variety of local dishes like Hainanese chicken rice, laksa, and satay at very low prices. Maxwell Food Center and Lao Passat are just a couple of the many options. Free attractions. There's plenty to see in Singapore that doesn't cost a dime. Wander around the iconic gardens by the bay and marvel at the super tree grove. Explore the neighborhoods of Little India, Chinatown, and Kampong Glam to soak in their rich cultural heritage. Don't miss the spectacular light and water show at Marina Bay Sands, which happens every evening. Affordable transport. Singapore's public transport system is efficient, extensive, and economical. 
purchase an EasyLink card for convenient travel on buses and the MRT, Mass Rapid Transit System. It's much cheaper than taxis and a great way to explore the city like a local. Budget shopping. For shopping, skip the high-end malls and head to local markets and street stalls in Chinatown, Little India, and Boogies for affordable souvenirs and gifts. You'll find everything from spices to electronics at much lower prices. Discounted tickets for attractions. If you plan to visit popular attractions like the Singapore Zoo or Universal Studios, look for online deals and discounts before you go. Many attractions offer cheaper tickets if you book in advance or visit during off-peak hours. Enjoy nature. Singapore has many beautiful parks and nature reserves that are free to visit. Spend a day at the Singapore Botanic Gardens, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, or explore the hiking trails at McRitchie Reservoir Park. Free events and festivals. Keep an eye out for free events and festivals happening around the city. From cultural celebrations to music festivals and art exhibitions, there's often something exciting happening for free. So, Kabuma adventurers, Singapore awaits with its myriad of experiences that don't necessarily require a lavish budget. With smart planning and a spirit of adventure, you can enjoy the richness of this dynamic city. Best things to do in Singapore. Whether you're a first time visitor or returning for more, Singapore offers an array of experiences. Let's dive into the best things to do in this dynamic city. Marvel at Marina Bay Sands. Start your journey at the iconic Marina Bay Sands. This architectural marvel is not just a hotel, but a landmark. Head up to the Sky Park Observation Deck for breathtaking city views, or take a dip in the world-famous Infinity Pool. Wander through Gardens by the Bay, just a short walk from Marina Bay Sands. Step into the future at Gardens by the Bay. Home to the Super Tree Grove and the mesmerizing Cloud Forest and Flower Dome, this urban garden is a testament to Singapore's vision of a city in a garden. Explore Singapore's neighborhoods. Immerse yourself in the cultural tapestry of Singapore by exploring its diverse neighborhoods. Visit Little India for vibrant colors and spices, Chinatown for historic temples and street markets, and Kampong Glam for its trendy boutiques and Middle Eastern cafes. Indulge in local cuisine at hawker centers. A visit to Singapore isn't complete without tasting its renowned street food. Head to hawker centers like Lao Passat and Maxwell Food Center to savor local dishes like chili crab, laksa, and Hainanese chicken rice. Experience the night safari. As the sun sets, embark on a unique adventure at the world's first nocturnal zoo, the Night Safari. Encounter over 2,500 animals in their naturalistic nighttime habitats, an experience unlike any other. Discover the Singapore Botanic Gardens. Escape the city's hustle and bustle in the tranquil Singapore Botanic Gardens, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Don't miss the National Orchid Garden, showcasing the world's largest orchid display. Shop on Orchard Road. For shopping enthusiasts, Orchard Road offers a plethora of choices, from luxury brands to affordable markets. It's a shopper's paradise. Enjoy the thrills at Sentosa Island. Sentosa Island is a world of fun and adventure. From Universal Studios Singapore to pristine beaches, this island resort offers activities for all ages. Take a stroll along the Singapore River. A stroll or a bumboat ride along the Singapore River offers glimpses of the city's colonial past and its modern skyscrapers. Stop by Clark Key or Boat Key for dining and entertainment. Visit the Art Science Museum. At Marina Bay, the Art Science Museum awaits with its Lotus-inspired design and innovative exhibitions that blend art, science, culture, and technology. Revel in the view from the Singapore Flyer. End your day with a ride on the Singapore Flyer, one of the world's largest observation wheels. The panoramic views of this city, especially at dusk, are simply stunning. From breathtaking skyscrapers and lush gardens to cultural enclaves and gastronomic delights, Singapore offers a world of experiences in a compact package. Whether seeking adventure, relaxation, or cultural immersion, this city-state has something for every traveler. Best restaurants in Singapore. From hawker stalls serving up heavenly street food to high-end restaurants offering gourmet experiences, Singapore's dining scene is as diverse as its culture. Let's discover the best dining spots in this vibrant city-state. Hawker Chan. Let's start with something uniquely Singaporean, the world's cheapest Michelin-starred meal. Hawker Chan, originally a hawker stall, is renowned for its soya sauce chicken rice. It's a must-try for its tender, flavorful chicken and the experience of Michelin dining without the price tag. Odette. For a taste of luxury, Odette at the National Gallery Singapore offers an exquisite fine dining experience. This three Michelin-starred restaurant, led by chef Julien Royer, is known for its modern French cuisine, served in an elegant and artistic setting. Jumbo Seafood. 
A visit to Singapore isn't complete without trying its famous chili crab, and Jumbo Seafood is one of the best places to indulge in this iconic dish. Enjoy this sumptuous, tangy, and slightly spicy delight while overlooking the beautiful waterfront. Liao Fan Hong Kong Soya Sauce Chicken Rice and Noodle Another hawker stall turned legend. Chef Chan Han Meng's stall in the Chinatown Complex Food Center gained fame for its delicious, tender, and affordable chicken rice. It's a simple dish executed to perfection. Burnt Ends Offering a modern Australian barbecue dining experience, Burnt Ends boasts a Michelin star for its unique menu. The open concept kitchen allows you to watch as chefs prepare dishes like the signature pulled pork sanger and Burnt Ends sanger, 328 Katong Laksa. For a taste of traditional Peranakan cuisine, head to 328 Katong Laksa. Their laksa, a spicy noodle soup with coconut milk, is a harmonious blend of Chinese and Malay flavors and has even won the praise of celebrity chef Gordon Ramsay. Candlenut. Explore the world of Peranakan cuisine at Candlenut, the world's first Michelin-starred Peranakan restaurant. Chef Malcolm Lee adds a contemporary twist to traditional dishes, creating a menu that's both innovative and comforting. Tian Tian Hainanese Chicken Rice. For an authentic taste of one of Singapore's signature dishes, Hainanese Chicken Rice, visit Tian Tian at Maxwell Food Center. The tender chicken, fragrant rice, and zesty chili sauce make for a delectable meal. Atlas Bar. Not just a place for drinks, Atlas Bar in Parkview Square is an Art Deco-inspired bar offering an extensive gin selection and a menu of European-inspired modern cuisine. It's the perfect spot for a sophisticated night out, Wild Rocket. At Wild Rocket, Chef Willen Lowe offers what he calls Mod Sin Cuisine Modern Singaporean. It's a place where traditional Singaporean dishes are reimagined with a contemporary and international twist. And there you have it. Kabuma Travelers, a taste of Singapore's rich and diverse culinary landscape. From the Hawker Center to the heights of gourmet dining, every meal in this city is an adventure in itself. Bon appétit, or as they say in Singapore, makan la, natural beauty of Singapore. Now we're going to explore the natural beauty of Singapore, a city often known for its towering skyscrapers and bustling streets. But tucked within this urban landscape are pockets of incredible natural wonders. Let's uncover the greener side of the Lion City. Gardens by the Bay. First, we journey to the future at Gardens by the Bay. While man-made, this garden is a marvel of ingenuity and design. The towering super trees, with their vertical gardens, dominate the skyline, while the cloud forest and flower dome transport you to different botanical worlds. Singapore Botanic Gardens. Next, step into the tranquility of the Singapore Botanic Gardens, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Wander through the lush rainforest, admire the swans in the Symphony Lake, and be mesmerized by the world's most extensive orchid display at the National Orchid Garden. Pulau Ubin. For a glimpse of Singapore's past, take a bumboat to Pulau Ubin. This small island off the northeastern coast is a throwback to 1960s Singapore. Explore its rustic roads by bicycle, visit the Czech Jawa wetlands, and spot wildlife in their natural habitats. McRitchie Reservoir Park. If you're up for an adventure, the trails of McRitchie Reservoir Park are calling. Walk along the treetop walk, a suspension bridge set high above the forest floor for panoramic views of the park's freshwater reservoir and rich wildlife. Sungai Bula Wetland Reserve, a haven for wildlife enthusiasts, Sungai Bula Wetland Reserve is a world of mangroves, mudflats, and biodiversity. It's a vital stopover point for migratory birds, so bring your binoculars. Bukit Timah Nature Reserve. Escape to the wilderness at Bukit Timah. Nature Reserve, home to Singapore's highest hill and primary rainforest. This ecological gem hosts diverse flora and fauna, offering hiking trails for all levels. East Coast Park. For beach lovers, East Coast Park is a delightful retreat. Cycle along the coastline, enjoy water sports, or simply bask in the sun on its sandy beaches. It's a popular spot for locals and tourists alike to unwind. Southern Ridges. Linking several parks and nature reserves, the Southern Ridges offer a scenic 10-kilometer walking trail. Highlights include the Henderson Waves Bridge and the Mount Faber Park, offering stunning views of the city and sea. Fort Canning Park, rich in history and natural beauty. Fort Canning Park is a peaceful hilltop oasis in the city center. Discover its ancient artifacts and lush gardens, a testament to Singapore's layered history. The Butterfly Park and Insect Kingdom. Located on Sentosa Island, this park is a colorful and educational experience. Wander amidst thousands of butterflies and observe exotic insects up close. In Singapore, the beauty of nature coexists seamlessly with urban life. From lush gardens to tranquil islands and vibrant parks, 
The natural landscapes offer a refreshing counterpoint to the city's hustle and bustle. Art and architecture in Singapore. Now we're going to embark on an artistic and architectural journey through Singapore, a city-state where innovative design meets cultural heritage. From towering skyscrapers to quaint colonial buildings, Singapore's landscape tells a story of a nation's past and its leap into the future. Marina Bay Sands. Our first stop is the iconic Marina Bay Sands. This architectural marvel designed by Moshe Safdi features three towers topped by a ship-like sky park. It's a symbol of Singapore's ambition and innovation. Be sure to catch the spectacular light show at the event plaza. Art Science Museum. Just a short walk away is the Art Science Museum, resembling an open lotus flower or an outstretched hand. It's a masterpiece that blends art, science, culture, and technology in an interactive, immersive way. The National Gallery Singapore, housed in two national monuments, the former Supreme Court and City Hall, the National Gallery Singapore is a visual treat, not just for its vast collection of Singaporean and Southeast Asian art, but for its stunning architectural restoration. The Esplanade Theatres on the Bay, known affectionately as the Durian for its spiky architecture, the Esplanade is Singapore's premier performing arts venue. Its unique design provides a backdrop to the city's skyline, and its world-class performances are a treat for art aficionados. Singapore's Colonial District. Take a walk back in time in the Colonial District. Here, you'll find the Raffles Hotel, a perfect example of British colonial-style architecture, and the old Parliament House, the oldest government building and now an arts and heritage center. Haji Lane. For a burst of color, visit Haji Lane in Kampong Glam. This narrow street is famous for its vibrant murals and graffiti, making it a favorite spot for photographers and Instagrammers alike. The Helix Bridge. A marvel of engineering and design, the Helix Bridge is inspired by the structure of DNA. This pedestrian bridge, with its unique viewpoint of the city, is a stunning example of Singapore's futuristic vision. Buddha Tooth Relic Temple. In the heart of Chinatown stands the Buddha Tooth Relic Temple, a striking example of Tang Dynasty architectural style. This four-story temple houses what is claimed to be the left canine tooth of Buddha, recovered from his funeral pyre in Kushinagar, India. The Interlace. Residential architecture takes a unique turn at the Interlace, a complex of interlocking apartment buildings that has been lauded for its radical take on urban living. Old Hill Street Police Station. No tour of Singaporean architecture is complete without seeing the Old Hill Street Police Station. Now a ministry building, its colorful windows make it one of the most Instagrammable spots in the city. In Singapore, every corner tells a story and every building reflects a chapter of its journey. From the traditional to the contemporary, the city's art and architecture are a testament to its multicultural heritage and forward-thinking spirit. Conclusion. As our Kabuma journey through the mesmerizing city-state of Singapore comes to a close, we find ourselves reflecting on a land of remarkable contrasts and harmonious blend. From the soaring skyscrapers that reach for the heavens to the lush green spaces that soothe the soul, Singapore is a symphony of diverse experiences. We wandered through the gardens by the bay, where the future of nature and innovation intertwined in an ecological dance. The towering super trees with their vertical gardens stood as sentinels to Singapore's commitment to a green future. In the cloud forest, we marveled at the world's tallest indoor waterfall, a testament to the city's boundless imagination. The cultural tapestry of Singapore enveloped us in its vibrant embrace. In the historic corridors of Chinatown, Little India, and Kampong Glam, we experience the heartbeat of Singapore's multicultural society. The colorful shop houses, the spicy aroma of street food, and the echoes of diverse languages created a mosaic of cultural richness. Singapore's culinary journey was a feast for our senses. From the hawker centers, where local dishes like Hainanese chicken rice and laksa tantalized our taste buds, to the Michelin-starred restaurants that redefined gourmet dining, each meal was a celebration of the city's diverse palate. Amidst the urban bustle, we found tranquility in the Singapore Botanic Gardens, a green sanctuary in the heart of the city. The National Orchid Garden, with its kaleidoscope of colors, was a serene retreat that connected us back to nature. The architectural marvels of Singapore Marina Bay Sands, the Art Science Museum, the Helix Bridge, left us in awe of a city that's constantly pushing the boundaries of design. These structures were not just feats of engineering, but symbols of Singapore's visionary spirit. As night fell, the city transformed. The skyline, a spectacle of lights, reflected off the marina bay, creating a magical atmosphere. The night markets buzzed with life, and the sounds of laughter and music filled the air, a testament to the city's vibrant nightlife. No, the Our journey through Singapore was more than just a discovery of places. It was an exploration of possibilities. 
In every corner of the city, innovation met tradition, nature converged with urbanity, and the past and the future existed in a delicate balance. As we bid farewell to Singapore, we carry with us memories of a city that is as inspiring as it is welcoming, as dynamic as it is serene. So, Kabuma travelers, let the Lion City's spirit of diversity, innovation, and harmony inspire your future travels. Until we meet again, may your adventures be as enriching and enlightening as our journey through the incredible city-state of Singapore. Safe travels and onwards to your next destination.